into the main base and did, did something there but he's not done yet with that Reaver he's gonna come in here but well Casey did a good job defending here he's gonna play that damaged uh, Zealot is gonna take that in the tank is he no he's you oh, you well he is going to take that down and in the meantime he is going to go for an attack here at the front there's no tanks here at all they are at the other at the new expansion Oh, too bad that Scarab dotted and that, what was that? That was a barracks I think is going to go down. But, well, yeah, he's now going to, is he really going to go to the back here? Damage shuttle is going to go in for another go. Going to try and get some SUVs off of this. Watch out for the tank. He might actually be able to do it here. Is he going to go for it? Ah, the Dragoon gets the hit off and we do get a very good Reaver kill here. Uh, yeah, watch out for the Prince Shuttle. <laughs> it's really... There we go. So he's going to waste all of these nice Scarab on the Marines. Going to splatter all those across. So very good harassment, really, from Casey. I don't know if he's going to try and do another little push here with the with the units he has. And let's see what he's doing in the meantime. Um, I think, yeah, he's going to expand... Well, he's going to improve his production capacity here. So yeah, but I don't think he's getting too much out of this Reaver though. He should have a very nice blob of SCVs, but he's he's getting tanks. He is harassing, but is it enough? Expanding again as well. Yeah, um, I don't I don't necessarily think that he did a, the uh, amount of damage that he wanted to do. Um, sure, he got a tank or two, and he got some Marines here and there, but uh, when it's all said and done, you really want SCVs. I mean, I'm sure he would have traded that tank for four SCVs, uh, the Marines for two SCVs. Like, it, SCVs are really the target. Uh, I think that's a, a bit obvious, but... Um, at the same time, you know, it's got to be mentioned that he barely got any SCVs out of that. Um, however, he is tr catching up economically. He's giving himself uh, the the economic room, the kind of, that he needs. Uh, he's taking that mineral only at the top position there, and uh, he's just playing a little bit of cat and mouse. And now two shuttles are out. Um, I haven't seen what went into those, but... Uh, you, um, I'm. I can only assume that there's ones filled with zealots, maybe some uh, DTs, um, high templars. I actually, I don't even know. I'm saying I can assume, but I actually really can't assume what uh, what's in there. There's at least a reaver in one of them, though. So uh, and some good, great turret placement here. Yeah, there's the reaver, and uh, this is actually very unfortunate. I actually hate this about this map that uh, the only thing that can fit through those mineral lines, and it doesn't show it off there. But uh, and oh, whoa, some really nice micro coming in here though from Casey. M making a wall of mines with those vultures, but uh, not actually being as successful as you would have liked it. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, that those scarabs are the only thing that can fit through that little gap there. I don't even think ghosts can fit through that little gap, but uh, scarabs can. So I actually think that's kind of BS, but uh, whatever. And uh, this is the first time I've seen this on this map where a Terran player takes that mineral only uh, right out there outside of his base, which is actually a great idea in uh, my opinion where you take that base and you can just set up this nice little arc this nice wall really of uh, just mines and tanks like uh, we're all used to seeing but uh, you set it up and uh, it defends your main base uh, and all the bases behind it and and the base that's uh, just sitting there kind of in the tank line so uh, I haven't seen that happen yet but I think this is uh, an interesting play and now a whole bunch of factories going down and I actually wanted to point out really quickly I know I've been rambling for a bit here but I watched this game with flash earlier today where he seemed to have uh, quite a bit of trouble placing his factories um, on this map uh, and I think Casey has overcome that by instead of placing his factories on the left side of your starting base placing them on the right and they were in the same starting position so uh, and flash did have a bit of a hard time with that so um, yeah I just wanted to point out that he does have good factory placement yeah and uh, you know Gwenchi still persisting with this Reaver, still trying to do some economic dam damage with it, kind of come out ahead. And we see that, you know, um, I'm really shocked that Casey is just kind of going oh. base for base here. And we see um, some SCVs running away, you know. But uh, it didn't look like too many were gotten uh, in that particular situation. And, uh, you know, it's just, we see... Um, we see Gwenji now, he's kind of moving, I don't know where, if he's just trying to set up for an attack maybe on this mineral only, but, um, and Casey just kind of going into macro mode here. 
Yeah, I think one thing about Guangxi's army was that he was all dragoons and he did not have any zealots. He's, he's fixed that now. He doesn't have any attack upgrades. And again, I also saw Casey has had only tanks, really. So in that situation, they actually, well, matched each other pretty well. Now he's producing a lot of vultures. Now these cannons warping in, so that harassment's not going to be effective. I also saw an Arbiter Tribunal in the base, so we will, we will be seeing Arbiters pretty soon. And I don't think Casey, well, Casey probably has the scan but I don't think he's got science vessels to deal with those yet. There we go, the first arm bit is out. So I don't think Stasis probably will be researched because that was a while ago. So yeah, I think Gwenchi is he is harassing Casey and with that he is actually prolonging that um, uh, that push. And because indeed um, Casey placed that, that command center there and made that little arc, he's set a bit too cozy in his own base and he doesn't want to leave because it's a very good position. But he has to leave at some point. Very nice mind swipe there with a single zealot as well. Oh, he's going to take a lot of damage on these zealots here. There's a lot of vultures now out and he's using, well no, he's using a very small amount of vultures to do a lot of damage to these zealots. And yeah, wow. We'll see what's going to happen now. I don't think Guemchi feels like he could push right now. He's going to spend yet again. And yeah, that vulture is going to scout that out though. So we will see that cannons are going to go up and prevent any vulture harassment there. But look at that. That defense is flinter thin. There are only a few mines, not a lot of vultures in the back. Probably they will be able to reinforce. But I think if Guemchi pushed now, he could actually make a pretty big dent and probably take out that upper expansion. Yeah, absolutely, and I think uh, the angle here, I think, works very well, however, um, just looking at it, the mines are all placed off to the left side, and there aren't many, ver very many mines along the top side, however, there's a command center there, um, along with uh, SCVs mining, which is going to create a lot of uh, havoc for Protoss units moving along. Um, I think what Guemchi is lining up to do here is a recall. Um, that's a, a very strong move, I think, at this point, because he has so many bases. I mean, just taking a look at the map here, he's got the, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and he's setting up a 7th base. Um, I think he's setting up actually 6 and 7 at the same time. But here comes that recall that I was talking about. A lot of turrets here, but the recall is going to go down. And these mines are going off. Oh, killing a lot of his own SCVs with that one mine. And uh, those Zealots actually just got completely splattered by uh, some random... I think it was probably just another mine, but uh, just got completely splattered over there uh, after taking that first mine hit. And that command center is definitely going to go down. So uh, a very effective recall. And now Casey just sweating bullets over here. Um... He's also uh, lost the capability of setting up an expansion down at that bottom left. I'm not sure if that was just a drop over on that left-hand side, but uh, Casey's definitely not going to be able to do it. Now we see a push coming in on the uh, mini-map here. Uh, the Observer's checking it out now, and uh, yeah, a push full on with uh, Arbiters and everything, and the Vultures are just getting there in time. However, a huge stasis going off on those tanks, and it looks like Guemchi is in a... He's going to back out here with his Dragoons, but he's in a decent position now uh, to do some really uh, huge damage to Casey.